Hello and welcome to the 2024 National Storyboard Competition Prize Giving Ceremony. My name is Jessie Leonce and I will be guiding you through this brief prize giving. Uh, we're giving out the prizes today for uh, the individuals who submitted, who made submissions for the development of storyboards to um, inform the design of St. Lucia's first, very first underwater sculpture park along the West Coast. We'll be getting into the meat of things in just a moment, but first I invite everyone here in studio to stand for the national anthem. Thank you very much for that. You may remain standing for the prayers and invocation. By the way, that uh, national anthem was delivered by panist extraordinaire, Mr. Al Alexander. Prayers to be delivered by Mrs. Beverly Henry from the Ministry of Tourism. Good morning, everyone. Shall we bow our heads? Almighty Father, we express our gratitude to you to be for uniting us in celebration of your diligence and commitment demonstrated by this year's awards recipients. As we honor each individual, may we always acknowledge that all glory is due to you. We are thankful for the friends and families who have provided unwavering support and encouragement to these individuals. Their presence has made this occasion possible. Above all, Guide them to approach all endeavors with a heart full of gratitude. As we say, we are our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Henry. You may all have your seats. Thanks. Okay, so just to gauge everybody's, just take it, taking the temperature, everybody's feeling good in studio today? Wonderful. It's a prize giving ceremony. Everybody's feeling good? Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, we've come a long way. There has been um, uh, submissions made uh, and strenuous, deliberate adjudication going on. And now it's time for us to award prizes to the individuals who have stood out. And uh, the judges have seen the vision, seen your vision, see how it can be uh, placed underwater. And now we want to recognize you, award you for your hard work, your creativity, your dedication to this latest endeavor of the government of St. Lucia. I now want to invite uh, the, for the welcome remarks, Ms. Danica Jo Charles from the Ministry of Tourism. But before I do that, I just want to give the uh, viewership an idea of what's happening in the room. I see some consultants here, but first to acknowledge our portfolio minister, Minister for Tourism, uh, Dr. Ernest Hilaire, as well as our permanent secretary, Donlan Vite. We have representatives from the CDF, from SLHTA, SLTA. Um, we have the, the awardees, uh, the those winning the prizes here today as well. So welcome to you all, and we continue the program. And not to mention the SWAT of the Ministry of Tourism staff who are here providing support to the, um, the, the main organizers. So, Ms. Danica, the floor to you. Good morning, everyone. Protocol already established. 
um, but I would like to make a special mention to the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Tourism, the Honorable Dr. Ernest Hillier, the 2024 National Storyboard Competition finalist, and our consultants for the Underwater Sculpture Park project. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to the 2024 National Storyboard Competition prize giving ceremony. St. Lucia's dive product currently consists of 20 dive sites strategically dispersed to decentralize activity throughout various communities. Over the past five years, there has been significant milestones geared towards increasing the sector's relevance and protecting the sites from a myriad of issues impacting reef health. As such, the ministry intends to develop three underwater sculpture parks that are themed around culture, heritage, and historical significance to St. Lucia. This project aims to de directly develop the destination's product offering in water-based adventure tours and consequently increase the competitiveness of dive tourism. Such initiatives not only attract visitors, but also contribute to the preservation of marine life and the protection of natural habitats, which in turn reduces the pressure on current dive sites and coral reefs. The Ministry of Tourism launch, launched the National Storyboard Competition aimed at enabling further private investments of nationals by providing an opportunity to demonstrate their creative talent and also contribute to the development of St. Lucia's first underwater sculpture park. The panel of judges consisted of individuals who possess significant expertise in the areas of creative art, architecture, sculptural design, and history. The ministry received 31 submissions, of which six persons present today have placed in the finals. We are today at yet another milestone in this project to announce the winners of the competition and to also applaud the efforts of all participants in cre curating such commendable submissions. A huge congratulations to all the finalists. You have definitely set an admiring benchmark for the quality of St. Lucia's Sculpture Park. There's a quote which states, when unique voices are united in a common cause, they make history. So here is to making history and being part of a remarkable initiative. But this is by no means the end of it all. The ministry continues on this exciting journey to implement this project. The consul consultants present here today have commenced the feasibility study of the coastal conditions for the implantation of these sculptures underwater and identification of the location for the park. Thereafter, the designs of the park will be conceptualized by incorporating information from the finalist storyboard as, as, and other national input. Thank you all for coming, and I hope you enjoy this ceremony. Wonderful, nice and comprehensive and not to mention succinct coming from Darnika Jha Charles from the Ministry of Tourism, just giving us a welcome and letting us in on what uh, is transpiring here today. I now want to invite the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister for Tourism, Honorable Dr. Ernest Hilaire to deliver the Minister's remarks. Thank you very much. I'm not that tall though. Yeah. <laughs> Mistress of ceremony, I'm not suggesting you're that short. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, um, Jesse, and let me recognize the presence of the Permanent Secretary, um, Lou, Mrs. Wynn from the CDF, other special invited guests, um, our consulting team. Um, it's a real pleasure this morning. This is a very special project for the Ministry of Tourism. And I, you, I listened to Danica, and she gave you all the different components that this project would address from environmental, um, marine-based adventures um, to historical. Within this project, we have so many different components that are included. Um, unlocking the blue economy, because in a sense it is using um, you know, the sea, um, the blue, uh, and it's gonna help us be part of that um, effort to utilize you know, the marine um, assets that we have for our economic development. 
But we're really excited about it because you know there's just so much about the project that helps us create and tell the St. Lucian identity. When we started off, we wanted the story of St. Lucia told through sculptures underwater. Now I know my good friend Jalim, um, once we had started this process, he reached out to me to remind me of his idea for an online sculpture park. And he too has a fascinating um, proposal. And, but we thought we wanted it underwater. We have a couple of other examples in the Caribbean, but we thought we can do something real extraordinary, really special. How can we tell the story of St. Lucia through stat um, statues underwater? Of course, adding to, like I said, water-based adventures, adding to environmental issues, economic issues, whatnot. And as we started discussing it in the ministry, it got more exciting and more exciting. And then we decided to have the storyboard competition. It, we should involve the entire public to share ideas with us and to help use their ideas to inform the final creative designs of what we're going to do. And we wanted to do this because we know there are some very talented solutions out there, really talented solutions. And if we give them an opportunity, we sure would get some fascinating um, you know, suggestions. So we had the competition. And then now we have to end up judging it. And that's where the real challenge came about because as is typical of creative persons, they all different interpretations of how it should be presented, what should be presented. Um, and it, it was really an exciting collection of um, submissions we had. I think we had over 30 something submissions um, you know, for the competition. And the judges did not have an easy time. And of course, we also wanted the judges to be able to come up with the best creative ideas, but also the overall objective of what we wanted to achieve. And let me explain what that means. Because we are telling the story of St. Lucia using three thematic areas, history, culture, and tradition, what we wanted was to get the story of St. Lucia historically, how we evolve historically. We wanted the story of St. Lucia in terms of our cultural evolution. We wanted the story of St. Lucia in terms of our traditions. And therefore, we had some very brilliant ideas um, that can stand alone. So you will notice in the prize given, there'll be first, second, third prize for culture, for history, and for tradition. And then an overall winner. That person that best captured in their submission, the totality of what we wanted. And I had the opportunity to sit with the team and to look at some of the submissions. I can tell you I'm happy I was not a judge because I would make everybody a winner uh, in some way or the other because we really had some excellent um, presentations. So it is now to use all those presentations, the submissions, and to come up with the, the narrative that will inform the, the final designs of what we do. But I must say to every single one of you who made a submission that you know, you, it was well done. Um, it, it was really, really good. And we should be proud of the creatives <laughs> that, that we have in St. Lucia. Um, I can't remember who won and who did not win, so I will not <laughs> congratulate anybody in advance. Um, but I, I, I was really proud, of, both as a St. Lucian and certainly as the minister um, under whose portfolio this falls. I was really proud of the submissions that were made I'm sure the technical team and the consulting team will come up with a final product that we'll all be proud of. And, and I know in, through our discussions, our objective is to really create that wow. When this is presented um, to the world, uh, we'll have something um, that really tells a very powerful, um, the powerful story of St. Lucia. So congratulations to everyone who will win this morning and really say thank you for making uh, for becoming part of this. It is making of history, uh, and I'm sure when it is documented, um, you will feature in it. And certainly, when, you, when we open the Sculpture Park PS, you will all get free passes to go and, <laughs> and dive. I won't join you in diving, <laughs> but um, I'm sure PS will allow all of you to be among the first persons to enjoy your own creation. So thank you so very much. <laughs>
Thank you, Deputy Prime Minister. I know a few people who would pay good money to see the ministers in their snorkeling and scuba diving gear. But in any case, um, you did give commendations to the winners here today, but also commendations to the Ministry of Tourism for coming up with this idea. Um, it takes me back to many moons ago when I was the Junior Minister for Tourism and sitting in the hallways of the hotel at the Caribbean Tourism Organization's uh, conference in Trinidad and Tobago, myself and other delegates from the other Caribbean islands were thinking about and drumming up ideas for how we can enhance the tourism product in the Caribbean. And these were, this was one of the ideas that we thought of because I will not tell you the year I was there because you're my age, but um, um, it was in 2006 that Grenada actually launched its own um, underwater sculpture park, which was the first underwater sculpture park. By the way, we are adding to history, just to let you know. Um, and we thought that if this could be replicated in all the islands, it would definitely one of, be one of the things that would enhance our tourism product. So definitely kudos to you, uh, to the Ministry of Tourism for coming up with this idea. At this time, I want to now invite for some entertainment. Uh, we have Mr. Michael Fletcher. He's an upcoming star in St. Lucia. He's a violinist and he has, a, I say, protege. He is a, a marvel on, on the strings. So I would like to invite him to just give you some entertainment in the next three minutes or so. A pleasant good morning to you all and a pleasant cultural month to you all. The song that I'm going to be playing this morning is Team Am I. Good job, wonderful job, Mr. Michael Fletcher. Um, we are, you know, coming full head with uh, coming up, uh, completing the design of, of the sculpture uh, park, what it will look like, uh, what persons can expect when they go scuba diving, when they go snorkeling. And uh, most important for me is how St. Lucia continues to tell its story. So how are we bringing something unique to this concept. And I think uh, the idea to bring forward our history, bring forward our culture is very critical. Um, and so a round of applause to the individuals who made an effort to ensure that the <laughs> culture and the history of St. Lucia were captured in the um, final uh, submissions. 
At this time, I would like to segue into the actual prize giving ceremony. And just to let you know, the prizes will be presented in four categories and the placements as indicated by uh, Darnica as well as uh, the tourism minister, they will be presented in four categories, placements for culture, history, heritage, and we also have the fourth being the overall winner. The culture category will be presented by Honorable Dr. Ernest Hilaire, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Tourism. And now we present third place for culture. This concept highlighted the flower festivals in St. Lucia, namely La Rose, La Marguerite, which holds a unique place in St. Lucian culture. The concept includes gigantic flowers to represent the huge influence of these societies, along with a smaller sculpture of a bed of flowers attached to the back of each flower. It also depicts the king and queen of each society interacting with the flower that they represent. This award is presented to Mr. Niki Sonson. Mr. Niki Sonson, are you here? Congratulations, Mr. Niki Sonson, and on screen you could see the design that he submitted. Presenting second place for culture, Sanu. Sanu is a concept that takes a deep dive into the essence of St. Lucia's unique culture. It portrays notable features and cultural landmarks of St. Lucia, including our drive-in volcano, our pitos, our sulfur springs, the Amazon of Versicola, the national tree, the bamboo, calabash, uh, green fig plantations, the backbone of our agriculture industry and green gold of our economy, as well as festive portrayals to include carnival, depicting the vibrant energy and colorful artistry of St. Lucian Carnival, capturing the spirit of women in costume on the bum bum wall, and a signage, <laughs> not to mention the signage, uh, Lucian Carnival, nothing sweeter than Okay, jazz featuring moments with uh, Boo Hinkson, Luther Fossois, Barbara Cadet, and of course the traditional dances showcasing men and women embracing in the folk dances. The storyboard also includes everyday life experiences to display our local culinary delights, music, and Creole language. This award is presented to Mr. Kevon Edwin. And uh, we have a representative accepting this uh, prize on his behalf. And now presenting first place for culture, we have St. Lucia Celebrates. The inspiration behind St. Lucia Celebrates stems from a deep desire to honor and preserve the joyous nature of our island's culture and heritage. The storyboard highlights that this concept is a testament of a uh, testament to our rich cultural heritage, our musical heritage, exemplified by the steel pan, the banjo, and African drums, as well as our vibrant carnival festivities. Additionally, it commemorates the remarkable accomplishments of our Nobel laureates, uh, Sirs Derek Walcott and Sir Arthur Lewis, uh, whose contributions to literature and economics have placed St. Lucia on the global stage. It also emphasizes the importance of our natural environments, uh, highlighting the St. Lucian Iguana and the Amazon of Versicola, both symbols of our commitment to wildlife conservation. At the heart of the concept is a circular wedding chapel supported by pillars of unity, which represents the bonds that bring our communities together. This award is being presented to Mr. Ted Sandiford. <laughs>
Thank you very much to the Tourism Minister for presenting the awards. And just to mention, we've heard some names and they're not new to us. We are very familiar with these faces and they have made their presence known in the cultural space and the artistic uh, landscape of St. Lucia. So once again, congratulations. Uh, we continue presenting the history category. It is presented by Ms. Nathania Oje. She is the St. Lucia, from, she's from the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. Welcome, Ms. Oje. And presenting third place in history, the title is Helen's Canary of Unity. Helen's Canary of Unity embodies the value of unity, comfort, and togetherness, cultivating a profound sense of belonging that enriches the lives of all. This concept shares the island's feminine reference and is derived from the majestic peak of the Pitons and the curvaceous terrain, which resembles a woman's silhouette. From generations past and present, a rich cultural heritage embodied by, by Helen's uh, generations, a matriarch, matriarchal figure whose nurturing are beautifully reflected in the traditional one-pot meals prepared with love. These dishes steeped in tradition are typically cooked in a clay pot, canary, a symbol of unity and togetherness that brings families and communities together. It also depicts the British and French battles for control of the island 14 times, similar to the legendary struggles of Helen of Troy. This award is presented to Ms. Divine Edward. Congratulations, Ms. Edward. Presenting second place for history, Idiqui. Wow. Idiqui. Wow. That's the title. The storyboard commences by celebrating St. Lucia's history through the art form of storytelling. The storyteller engages and connects with children of her village who eagerly await her stories of the past, which unravel along the journey. The storyteller commences with a tale of indigenous people and ancestors, such as the Caribs, then shifts to the harrowing era of the African slavery. The concept also includes a series of expressive busts capturing a spectrum of emotions from praise and worship to deep grief and fists conveying powerful symbols of strength. The series tells a story of resilience, of hope, and the enduring spirit of the St. Lucian people. This award is presented to Mr. Jalem Yudovic. And presenting first place in history, St. Lucia, St. Lucia's history unfolds. The inspiration behind St. Lucia's St. Lucian history unfolds stems from a deep desire to preserve and celebrate our heritage in a unique and engaging way. The storyboard provi provides an educational and insightful exploration of St. Lucia's history from the early Amerindian settlers to the colonial struggles and the resilience of the African slaves. The concept highlights the Amerindian family, a thatched hut, African slaves, Petronil Dwin, uh, and a French and British soldier. The um, Amerindian family sculpture consists of two adults and three children, embodying a glimpse into the island's earliest inhabitants. The thatched hut is a meticulously crafted representation of traditional Amerindian architecture, and the depiction of African slaves working on a sugar plantation and a sugar mill is a poignant reminder of a harsh period in the island's history. The concept includes several life-sized figures of African slaves engaged in various activities associated with a sugar production. The sculpture of Petronil Duin stands, stands as a powerful and evocative representation of the fight for freedom and justice. This depiction is a tribute to her resilience and the significant role she played in St. Lucia's history. The French and British soldier detailed in with period appropriate military uniforms stand opposite in each other next to a cannon symbolizing the historical, historical sorry, confrontations between their nations over control of St. Lucia. This award is presented to Mr. Ted Sandiford.
thank you very much, and a special thanks to the to our presenter, Ms. Nathania Oje from the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. And finally, the final category, before we announce the overall prize winner, the heritage category. It is presented by Mrs. Ramona Henry Wynn from the, she's the executive director from the Cultural Development Foundation. Welcome, Mrs. Wynn. Can we give her a warm welcome? Oh yes, man. And to present third place for heritage, this concept highlights the crafts deeply rooted in our island's history, including basket weaving, pottery, and the other artisanal practices. We have Chozelle's dedication to preserving these artisanal traditions, not only honoring ancestral heritage, but also enriching the cultural fabric of the entire island. Mr. Sanson, I gave him away. <laughs> Mr. Sanson highlights the skill of pottery making, in particular featuring the women of Choiselle as they gather, soften, and mold clay. The clay is molded into different pots, and also the more distinctively coal pot, distinct coal pots are on display. These underwater sculptures will serve as a visual narrative, educating visitors and younger locals about St. Lucia's heritage that has been passed down from, for generations, and also inspires a new generation of uh, potters or artisans dedicated to sustaining St. Lucia's heritage and cultural legacy. This award is presented to Mr. Nikki Sonson. And now presenting second place for heritage, this concept invites you to immerse yourself in the depths. Feels like uh, I'm reading a podcast. <laughs> This concept invites you to immerse yourself in the depths of St. Lucia's cultural heritage with Conquer Your Fear, St. Lucia's masquerade and folklore, an innovative experience designed as a maze. It highlights St. Lucia's folklore in, in maze-like settings in an attempt to blend cultural preservation with interactive storytelling and psychological explanation. Folklore not only tells the stories of people, but also reflects their innermost fears and challenges. By presenting these tales in a maze format, we echo the most often complex journey of understanding and overcoming personal and communal fears. This uh, setup encourages visitors to physically and mentally engage with the narratives where folklore characters from our island's rich traditions await around every corner, enhancing the educational and emotional impact of each folklore figure that they encounter. Folklore character include Papa Bois, Papa, Jab. Papa Jab, Mama Dlo, uh, Masqueraders, Suku, Yon, Tibolom, Kokma, and La Ja. Yes, this award is presented to Mr. Ted Sandiford. And presenting the first place for heritage, this concept bursts with life through sculptures celebrating St. Lucia's culture and heritage in a playful and interactive form. It features joyous children playing traditional games like tire race, reflecting the resourcefulness of St. Lucian children. It displays pathways formed by African drums to symbolize a connection to Africa, the heartbeat of the continent. The drums representing the sonic heritage of St. Lucia serve as a reminder of the island's deep cultural roots and the traditional dances and celebrations come to life capturing the rhythm and spirit of traditional dance and celebrations um, and of the festive the island's festive traditions. Folklore characters such as Anansi, Mamadlo, and Tibolom are vividly portrayed, enriching the cultural narrative of their mystical stories. Iconic hand gestures of peace, love, and camaraderie speaks to the St. Lucian and Caribbean philosophy of hospitality, respect, and good Iri living as also highlighted as part of who we are. This award is presented to Mr. Jalen Yudovic. Wonderful. At this time, we want to invite once again Mr. Al Alexander to deliver another pan rendition for us.
You didn't come to play. <laughs> he didn't come to play. <laughs> okay, the overall winner is presented by our permanent secretary at the Ministry of Tourism. So and I want to invite her warmly. <laughs> to the platform is Donald and Vite. And uh, the final award goes to the overall winner of the competition. I now want to just redirect your attention. I know I did my, I tried my best with the makeup, but you could look <laughs> over there on this screen uh, to just get an, uh, a better understanding of the winners, um, what the winner tried to convey. The talented individual produced a storyboard that concisely weaved together the rich historical narratives of our island, the vibrant expressions of our cultural identity and the enduring significance of our heritage. It was a successful effort at encapsulating all three thematic areas of the competition, and this individual's work stands out for its depth and creativity, having presented a compelling and immersive storyboard that will undoubtedly contribute to the success of this landmark project. So the three themes which were reflected in artistic images and sculptures are as follows. Celebration of life, or la vie nou, culture category, Flavors of the Island, a nous manger, heritage category, and Journey Through Time, avant nous, history category, avant nous. So Celebration of Life, La Vino, this site is filled with dynamic imagery capturing the vibrant cultural life of St. Lucia. You have the visuals including scenes of carnival with colorful dancers, cricket matches symbolizing the island's sporting spirit, and storytelling sessions under a calabash tree. These images reflect community, joy, and the celebratory nature of St. Lucian culture. We also have the flavors of the island, a nous manger. The imagery emphasizes traditional culinary practices and illustrations depict family gatherings around tables filled with iconic St. Lucian dishes, scenes of people engaged in food preparation using traditional methods and lively market scenes showcasing local produce. These images aim to connect visitors with the communal aspects of food and its role in cultural identity. And finally, journey through time, avant nous, this site features historical present representations, including scenes of the island's early inhabitants and their daily lives. We have pivotal battles during colonial times and the era of slavery and emancipation. The imagery culminates with a representation of St. Lucia's independence, emphasizing the resilience and transformation of its people through history. In conclusion, this storyboard aims to foster a deeper understanding and appreciation of St. Lucia's rich cultural tapestry and historical journey. The combination of visual art, storytelling, and interactive experiences creates a unique educational platform for visitors and locals, bringing the stories of our past to life beneath the waves. Can I get a drum roll? <laughs> this award is presented to Ms. Sheree Emanuel. Congratulations. Give it up once again for Sheree Emmanuel. <laughs> Not only will Sheree be having a good Junique all, but we suspect she will be also having a good Christmas as well. <laughs> Ted Sandiford here, we thought you were, you were, you know, but congratulations to everyone. Uh, we want to commend everyone for their creativity, their hard work that they put into it. Of course, even devising the, the, the concepts, it takes a bit of knowledge, um, as, as historical uh, know-abouts, and being okua with what St. Lucia is all about. And you definitely did your homework, and you came out with uh, the, the money-making prize, the money-making submissions. <laughs> So congratulations, and just for the viewers uh, out there, uh, Sheree Emanuel won a prize. Everyone um, received monetary prizes, but topping it off was Sheree Emanuel with the grand prize of $31,500. Once again, congratulations. <laughs> and so we now come to the end of the program. I now want to invite the permanent secretary within the Ministry of Tourism to give the closing remarks before we head on to some refreshments. Thank you very much, Ms. Leos. Um, everybody feeling good? Yes. Yeah.
boy, I wish staff of the ministry could have participated. I think I would probably put out all of my guns, although I'm not, <laughs> right? Um, but really, congratulations to you all um, who participated and those who were shortlisted and um, came up this morning to collect your prizes. This is really history in the making. And um, as a ministry, we could have taken a number of approaches. And because we felt that it was really history in the making, we sought to take an approach that really involved St. Lucians in the participation of the development of the park. And no better way than to reach out to St. Lucians to tell the St. Lucian story. And we are very um, elated that there's a cross-section of persons who came forward and presented and won today. I think it provided an opportunity for us to see our notable faces and some faces that we are not very familiar with. And um, we look forward to more participation from you. But the Story Park itself is a way to ensure we continue building livelihoods within the tourism stream. We are really known for honeymoon and wedding destination and lately the um, adventure as well as um, nature. But with this piece, with this underwater sculpture park, I think it really opens doors for the ministry. It opens doors for St. Lucia, and it provides an opportunity for more persons to come and explore, not just to see our landscape, but also to see what we say, seascape, right? I'm hoping that as we put all of the ideas together, and this is the, the first part of the, the, the narrative that goes you know, below water, um, what we intend to do is to ensure we have one person who would be able to corral all the information into one piece, but stay within each thematic area. And so we would be able to develop something really grand, perhaps that could rival the Pitons. Yeah. yeah? Sure. So, yeah. <laughs> we wish that we could develop something really grand. And um, it's really important for us to ensure that your pieces, that your ideas stay true, but at the same time to be able to utilize it, which is the original intention. Um, there is some administrative process that we will need to go through before we do the final handover of what was written on the, on the checks. Um, but we really want to ensure that we give credit to you. And as we do the exchange that, um, you know, the consultants can go ahead and use these pieces, use these ideas that you have put out to inform the, under, the design of the underwater sculpture park. Um, but before I leave, I really need to say thanks. There are a couple of people at the ministry who really helped us push this. What you see today was probably days and weeks of toil. And one person is not with us is Samantha Charles, who is our marine um, officer, tourism officer for marine. She really helped push this competition. And um, Danica and Timothy were those behind the scenes really championing it, championing it um, to what it is today. So thank you very much um, for these officers at the ministry. <laughs> Sincere thanks to our judges and to you participants. Commission, Commissioner of Crown Lands will not be able to, to um, bolt these sculptures without your approval. So thank you very much for giving your approval by your presence this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to our consultants. The, the rest of um, it's really an inter ministry, ministry uh, inter agency um, collaboration that we would need to, to have um, to ensure the sculpture park comes off. Um, I see NCA, Community Tourism Agency, um, CDF, and many others, those who are not here, like SLASPA, Marine Police. So, thank you in advance for your cooperation for this. And let's look forward to the arrival of our landscape below water. <laughs>Wonderful. Thank you very much for those closing words. Uh, Ms. Donna Lynn Vite, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism. It's all the time we have for now. It's been a pleasure. We thank you all for being here today. I'd like to thank uh, the officials uh, from all the different ministries, other agencies present here today. Thank you so much for being here. Once again, congratulations to all of the winners here today. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip. Hooray.
Okay, and we, I will be speaking to you in all in just a moment um, to see um, how we could do some photo ops after this. Um, again, all the best to you. This has been the 2024 National Storyboard Competition Prize Giving Ceremony. The Ministry of Tourism, the Government of St. Lucia, was in search of a storyboard concept to inform the design of St. Lucia's first underwater sculpture park. Have we found it? Are we sound and we secure? We are good. Yes, We're PS? Good enough. We're good enough. We're good enough. And so, a close up project, but just the, now the beginning to um, Crown Lands and etc. But once again, thank you all for watching. Congratulations once again. My name is Jesse Leon, signing off for now. This has been a production of the Government Information Service. Goodbye.